clinically, multiple myeloma, the peak incidence in the elderly, peak incidence of multiple myeloma in old age, 70 years plus. But some cases are present in the uh, ages 40 years, over 40 years. Very few cases are present in the age below 40 years, but it occurs sometimes, rarely, rarely, rarely in the young age. Blood and bone marrow chains, very high ESR, erythrocyte, sedimentation rate this is erythroid the rate of the sedimentation of the red blood cell in the multiple myeloma the red blood cell forming rouleau in the blood so when we do ESR we'll find a very high ESR more than 100 per hour high ESR causes due to Rouleau formation. So the red blood cells settle down rapidly, leading to high ESR. Anemia, normocytic, normochromic anemia, white blood cells, platelets are reduced. Multiple myeloma may be a cause of pancytopenia due to malignancy affecting the bone marrow leading to bone marrow failure bone marrow failure leading to decrease of the red blood cells white blood cells and the platelets so band cytopenia all cells are reduced plasma cells are rarely seen in the peripheral blood if you see plasma cells in the peripheral blood it may be plasma cell leukemia. Platelets, as we mentioned, may be thrombocytopenia, but also platelet dysfunction, thrombocytopenia, due to abnormal abnormalities in the platelet functions. Also, abnormal coagulation screen may occur, leading to abnormal bleeding. Abnormal bleeding. So we have multifactorial causes for this abnormal bleeding platelet dysfunction and abnormal coagulation screen. Bone marrow, normal hematopoietic cells are reduced. We mentioned that there is a bone marrow failure in multiple myeloma. Failure of the bone marrow to produce the normal blood cells. Plasma cell increased more than 20% with abnormal forms. It's called plasma cell, malignant plasma cells or myeloma cell myeloma cells boom marrow suppression pancytopenia due to boom marrow failure as we mentioned maybe hypo cellularity of the marrow decrease normal cellular components due to increased in the plasma cell malignant plasma cells on expense of the normal cellular components of the boomer Multiple myeloma in the peripheral blood, we can see here Rolo. All of the RPCs are in Rolo. Bone marrow, you can see myeloma cells, malignant plasma cell. Rolo formation marked in most cases, leading to high ESR erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Characteristic immunophenotyping for Malignant plasma cells or myeloma cell, CD38 high, CD138 is high, and CD45 is low. 
another picture poor marrow picture with many plasma cells clinically the patient complains from weakness fatigue infection bleeding all of this due to poor marrow failure bone changes osteolytic lesion of the bone due to osteoclast activating factor produced by myeloma cells myeloma cells producing factor called osteoclast activating factor increase in the osteoclast interleukin 6 potent growth factor for myeloma cells so there is a circle myeloma cell producing osteoclast activating factor osteoclast activating factor. activate the osteoclast osteoclast Reduce interleukin 6, interleukin 6 increase potent a growth factor for myeloma cells. This is the x ray. Osteoporosis may occur, osteolytic or punched out, punched out osteolytic lesion, as we can see many osteolytic lesions here and here. Boom beam. In 60% of the cases, the low back pain, pathological fractures, weakness of the bone, vertebral collapse, deformities, cord, spinal cord, compression, feature of the hypercalcemia, release of the calcium due to osteoclast activating factor, activate the osteoclast, the release of the calcium, so increase in the serum calcium, laboratory, clinically presenting by thirst, vomiting, Polyuria, increase with urination, abdominal pain, and constipation, confusion. All of these are features of hypercalcemia, increase in the serum calcium. Another radiological picture showing the osteolytic or punched out, uh, punched out areas, osteolytic lesions on most of the cases. The immune system, there is immune paresis. Decrease for leukocyte, leukopenia, decreased in the normal immunoglobulins leading to susceptibility to recurrent infection. So this is called immunoparesis. Failure of the immune system to fight infections. Hyperviscosity, you do paraprotein, increase in the protein and the blood, leading to headache, dizziness, blaring of the vision. This is hyperviscosity features. Patient complains from headache, dizziness, lack of the concentration, blaring of the vision. Renal uremia occur in multiple myeloma, paraprotein noria, Pence-Jones protein noria, hypercalcemia and hypercalciuria and increase in the uric acid also in the ear. So all of these are toxic to the renal cell or kidney cell leading to renal failure or uremia. Causes of renal impairment, urinary tract infection due to immunoparesis we mentioned before, Pence-Jones protein, hypercalcemia and late or complicated condition called primary amyloidosis due to paraproteinemia and paraproteinuria uh, converting to amyloidosis Amy deposition of amyloid tissue in the kidney and leading to renal failure primary amyloidosis amyloid occur in multiple myeloma may result in nephrotic syndrome and uremia renal failure Macroglossia, large tongue, carpal tunnel syndrome, pressure on the nerves and the pain and affect the movement of the hand. Soft tissue involvement in multiple myeloma is uncommon. 